Hi, and thank you for coming to the Efficient QA in Europe's event. This competition focuses on the open domain question answering task, where systems are expected to find natural language answers to natural language questions. And it's expected that these answers will come from some underlying knowledge store. But we make no presumption about the form of that knowledge store. It could be a corpus of text, it could be the parameters of a neural network, or it could be any other method of encoding knowledge about the world. However, it can be argued that the most effective knowledge representations are also the most efficient ones. So in this competition, we've introduced a number of tracks designed to encourage contestants to explore the question of how best to represent world knowledge with a limited number of bytes. Here on the slide, we have an illustration of this type of trade-off that contestants may have to make if they're exploring systems that use a neural network to extract answers from text. Do they go for a larger textual corpus as part of their system, or do they go for a larger neural network? So there are four different tracks, and today we're going to see overviews of a diverse range of solutions targeted at each of these very different tracks. Here's an overview of today's event. We'll first give a brief overview of the competition, including the data and evaluation. We will then go over each of the tracks and the systems. Finally, we will watch a trivia showdown that shows the competition between the systems and the human team. For data, we use Natural Questions Open, one of the benchmarks in academic QA research. The questions are derived from Google search queries. Each question is paired with a Wikipedia article and then given to five annotators so that they can annotate the answer. The question and answer pairs with short answers are taken as the final data. For the test data, we collected the data with substantial time gap from the training data. This gives an extra challenge of generalizability. For evaluation, we have two metrics, one automatic and the other based on human judgment. The automatic eval is based on string match with minor normalization. For instance, if the gold answer is the Netherlands and the prediction is Netherlands, the prediction is considered as correct. For human eval, three human readers judge the prediction, and if the majority of them mark it as correct, the prediction is considered as correct. For instance, if the prediction is Holland, human readers will mark it as correct as it refers to the Netherlands. The agreement rate between human judgment is 85%, which is substantially high. The competition was held for two months. 39 submissions from 18 unique teams were submitted, and seven of them are affiliated or co-affiliated with universities. The system achieved impressive results, achieving 15 to 25 point improvement over baseline across all trials. Now, we will go over each of the tracks and the description of the top submissions. The first track is a limited track where there is no constraint in memory and the system should achieve the highest accuracy. We will watch the description of the top two systems based on automatic eval, one from Microsoft and Dynamics 365 and the other from Facebook AI. Hi, this is Hao. I'm going to present our submission to the efficient QA competition, Unite QA. This is joint work with Ye Longshi, Xiao Dongliu, Hong Chenghe, Wei Zhucheng, and Jianfeng Gao at Microsoft Research in Dynamics 365 AI. Here is an overview of our system, which is an open book system with three stages, retrieve, read, and then re-rank. Given the input question, the goal of the retriever is to search over the English Wikipedia and return a top-ranked list of relevant passages. Following recent work, we use a bird-based dense retriever and keep the top 100 passages for reading. Motivated by the recent development of both extractive and generative readers, we adopt a hybrid approach for effectively reading over relevant passages by leveraging the state-of-art text encoders, specifically T5 for generation and Electron for extraction. In order to learn effectively from the noisy input, we develop multiple training strategies. Specifically, we enhance the generation model with adversarial training 
and attention bias. And we leverage multi-level losses and posterior dif differential regularization for the extractive reader, both of which are critical for effective learning with the weekly supervised setting. After the reading stage, there were two re-rankers, L1 and L2, where L1 is to aggregate information over passages for producing a short list of answer strings for the extractive reader. And L2 then produced the final answer prediction of our system based on the outputs from both extractive and generative readers. Here, we first present the ablation study over training strategies for the extractive reader. As we can see from the top right table, by using the proper training objective, there is a large improvement over the standard baseline. Based on the bottom table, we find that textual representation is critical for end-to-end -end performance. Not surprisingly, a large model can lead to further improvement over its base counterpart. Next, we present the ablation study on the generation part. Specifically, we observe both adversarial training and our proposed attention bias can effectively enhance the generative reader. By leveraging the advantage of both extractive and generative models in a hybrid approach, our submission is the best performing system based on the automatic evaluation. Thank you. Hi, I'm Farda Soz. Um, I'm a research scientist at Facebook AI. I'll be presenting our hybrid model submission for the unrestricted track. Uh, multiple teams were involved across Facebook for this project with a long list of uh, contributors you can see on the slide. Uh, we pick a retriever reader architecture as our basic architecture for this work, uh, where for the retriever we are using a dense passage retrieval and the reader model is based on the fusion in decoder uh, paper uh, that's based on the T5 large model. Um, we made several improvements to the retriever. Um, notably, we use uh, several types of information uh, in addition to just unstructured text, including lists and tables from Wikipedia. All of this is linearized into fixed size documents and then jointly indexed with the rest of the passages. For tables, we have around half a million of them from the original natural questions uh, training set. Uh, we also used around 20,000 training samples, which have short answers coming from tables. Uh, each table is split into um, chunks. Uh, we try to include fully formed rows, which contain the answers, uh, and also sample the rest of the rows randomly. Uh, we try to guess at uh, what, what the header row is for each chunk. Simple linearization schema worked pretty well here. Uh, in fact, better than anything more complicated that we tried in modeling converting rows into natural language like statements. For dance retrieval training, uh, we improve upon uh, the baseline using iterative training. Uh, at each step, we mine better, uh, harder uh, negative examples using the previous best model. Finally, we combine our retrieval results uh, with those from uh, generative augmented retrieval. Uh, we also make uh, some improvements to the reader model uh, with better hyperparameter tuning. Uh, we use a, a different optimizer, uh, a linear decay schedule, smaller learning rate, and train for a longer time. Um, and these minor improvements actually result in a substantial uh, improvement in the final metrics. Here are the ablation results. Uh, we start with a dance retrieval plus fusion in decoder baseline around 47.1 exact match on the dev set. Uh, with iterative training with better hard negatives, we gain around a point and a half. Adding lists and tables gives us two more points and similarly with uh, better reader hyperparameters and generative augmented retrieval. Please don't hesitate to send me any questions uh, via email and thank you. So to aggregate the result, these are the accuracy of the systems, both of achieving over 50 based on automatic eval and over 65 based on human eval. This is around 15 point improvement over the baseline, which was the state of the art when we started the competition. 
The second track is 6 GB track, and here, the system should be under 6 GB and achieve the highest accuracy. We have the top three systems, the first one from Facebook AI, the second one from Studio Osula and Tohoku University, and the third one from Brno University of Technology. Hello everyone, my name is Gauthier Zakar and I'll represent our submission to the track evaluating systems under 6 GB. Our system follows the standard retriever reader approach and is composed of two modules, the retriever and the reader. Given an input question, first the retriever locates relevant passages in a knowledge source, in our case Wikipedia. Then the reader processes the retrieved passages to generate an answer. For the reader, we use a fusion in decoder model. In this model, based on pre-trained sequence-to-sequence -sequence model, first the encoder is applied independently on each passage concatenated with the question. Then, all the representations are concatenated and the decoder is applied to generate an answer. Processing passages independently in the encoder allows to scale to large number of contexts. On the other hand, processing passages jointly in the decoder allows to better aggregate evidence for multiple passages. In our submission, the reader takes as input 100 retrieved passages of 100 words each. For the retriever, we use a model which associates a dense representation to each passage. And to be able to query a large knowledge source at inference, we follow a common pipeline. First, for each passage, an embedding is pre-computed using the retriever. Then, we embed the input question with the same model. And the similarity score between passage P and question Q is given by the dot product between the two representations. To obtain the reader input, we retrieve passages with highest similarity scores. This operation can be done efficiently by pre-indexing all Wikipedia passages and using a maximum inner product search library, such as FACE. Regarding the training of the retriever, we initialize the model with a BERT-based model and training following the scheme developed in our recent paper, distilling knowledge from reader to retriever for question answering, where we use the, leader, the reader cross-attention score as synthetic labels to train the retriever. The problem is that the size of the pre-computed index is about 60 GB. This simply comes from the fact that each of the 20 million passages is represented by a vector of dimension 768. To obtain an index of reasonable size, we first divide the dimension of each vector by 3. Then we use product quantization with 64 subvectors with 8 bits per subvector. This leads to an index of 1.4 GB. We further remove about 10% of the data by filtering articles based on categories. The final index is about 1.2 GB with minimal performance loss. Finally, if we take a look at the size of our system, we have 1.6 GB for the models in float 16, 2.2 GB for the Wikipedia text compressed with AllRZip, 1.2 GB for the pre-computed retriever index, 0.6 GB for PyTorch. This leads to our first submission, which achieved a performance of 52.8 exact match, with some optimization improvement and an assembly going for, of retrievers using generative augmented retrieval, we further improved the performance of the system to 53.3 exact match. That's all for the description of our system. Thank you all for your attention. Hi, I'm Mikio Emada. In this talk, I will talk about Soseki, our efficient open domain question answering system. This is the joint work with Ikue Emada and Sonsei Shimaoka from Studio Ushia, and Masato Suzuki, Shunpei Miyawaki, Shun Sato, Ryo Takahashi, and Jun Suzuki from Tohoku University. Soseki is an open domain question answering system that finds an answer from any given question from Wikipedia. Following past work, our system adopts two stage approach consisting of retriever for passive retrieval and reader for reading comprehension. Given the question, Retriever obtains top K candidate passages from Wikipedia. Then, Reader selects the most relevant passage from them and also extracts an answer from the selected passage. Retriever is based on our enhanced V implementation of dense passage retriever proposed by Kapkin Tow. In particular, we use two independent BART based uncast models to encode questions and passages. Embeddings of Wikipedia passages are pre-computed and stored using the open source face library. At the inference time, top K passages relevant to the given question are retrieved from the face index. 
for computational efficiency, he also developed a new method to quantize passes embeddings. The model is trained using the natural questions dataset. Reader is a leading comprehension model that selects the most relevant passage from the top K candidate passages and extracts an answer from the selected passage. As a base pre-trained model, we used Electrolarge for systems under 6 GB track and an sample of Electrolarge and Albert XX Large for the unrestricted track. We add one dense layer for selecting the most relevant passage and two dense layers for detecting start and end positions of the answer. We train this model using the concatenated version of the training, development, and test sets of natural questions dataset. To reduce the size of the Docker image for systems under 6 GB track, we compress the model and data files using ZPack. Also, we excluded Wikipedia passages with less than 14, mon 14 monthly page views. For the unrestricted track, we ensemble multiple reader models by computing weighted average of scores for selecting a passage and scores for detecting start and end positions. The best combination based on the development set consisted of three electro large based models and one Albert XX large based model. As a result, our system is ranked second on the 6 GB track and third on the unrestricted track among, among all competition participants. That's all for our presentation. Thank you for listening. Hi, I'm Martin. And it's a joint work together with Martin, Karel, and Pavel on our R2D2 submission. Our system finished third in under 6 GB track and ended up fourth in the unconstrained track. Our system follows the traditional pipeline paradigm. As the name suggests, it contains two rankers and two readers. The first ranker we call Retriever ranks all passages in the index with respect to the question. This Retriever is based on DPR. The second ranker is the passage re-ranker a system which will rank stop K passages from the retriever, which was for 100 in our submission. It receives subsets of top K passages at the input and discriminates golden passage from the others. A re-ranked version of all passages is simply created according to the Presoft max scores of individual passages. Next, we employ two reader models. Firstly, the extractive reader is similar to the reader used in DPR and trained via combination of maximum marginal likelihood and compound objective. As a second reader, we use Fusion in decoder with 25 passages at the input. We will explain the way the readers interact shortly. In this pruned version, we save all models in float 16 precision without noticeable loss of performance, which saves a lot of memory. Also, we reduce the size of the index from 21 million to just 1.6 million passages by applying following procedure. We leverage the fact that there is a difference between distribution of golden passages and randomly sampled passages. We identify irrelevant passages via binary classifier, and then we tune the classifier threshold so that we pick the maximum amount of relevant documents that fit the limit of the constraint track. Having re-ranked passages, we generate an answer via fusion in decoder, and we also use the same model to re-rank top K answer spans for an extractive reader. Finally, we use two fusions to produce an answer prediction. Firstly, we combine log probabilities for top K spans provided by two readers, we are simple in our combination. At last, the binary decision is made between the generated answer and the top extracted answer according to their log probabilities. As for the results, there are a few interesting things to notice here. Firstly, when looking at the extractive and abstractive systems separately, passive ranking improve the results far more significantly when using a pruned index. Secondly, Rescoring passages proposed via extractive system but our abstractive fusion in decoder improves the performance consistently over generating most likely answer via greedy search. Thirdly, an ensemble effect computed via log prop fusion improves the results greatly with an ability to abstractive to generate an abstractive answer that might not be even included in the input passages does not bring large improvements. Thank you. To aggregate the result, these are the curves of the systems. The top system from Facebook AI achieved 25 point improvement over the provided baseline. These are the last two tracks. In 500 megabyte track, the system should be under 500 megabyte and achieve the highest accuracy. 
The top two systems are the one from UCL plus Facebook AI and the other from Naver Clova. In 25% smallest track, the system should achieve 25% or higher accuracy and then have the smallest size. A system from UCL plus Facebook AI is only 29 megabyte, being the first place with significant margin from the second place. Hi, I'm Patrick, and I'm going to present the UCL MLP efficient QA submission. We wanted to build systems that would be smaller than 500 megabytes and greater than 25% accuracy. We found that open book models like Realm were prohibitively large and closed book models were either not accurate enough or would have too many parameters to fit in 500 megabytes. Instead, we base our approach on recent work that shows that simple nearest neighbor models can perform just as well as closed book models. These models consist of a database of QA pairs, in this case the training set, and a retriever. The retriever retrieves the most similar question from the database. And this can score up to 23% using a base neural retriever. Sometimes the retriever struggles to retrieve the best QA pair. We can boost accuracy using a neural re-ranker on the top K results from the retriever. We also want to increase the coverage of the database by automatically generating probable QA pairs. We train a model to select passages from Wikipedia which are likely to contain information that people ask questions about. From these documents, we select answers using named entity recognition and use a BART question generator to generate QA pairs. These questions are sometimes poorly formed, ambiguous, or only make sense in a local context, so we filter them using what we call a global consistency filter, which consists of an open domain QA system. If the answer to the open domain QA system matches the original answer, the QA pair is added to the database. This is our final system, consisting of a database, retriever, and re-ranker. To build our smaller system, we use as few QA pairs as possible, and build the index at evaluation time. We replace the original BERT retriever with TFIDF and use an Albert-based re-ranker. We also use Alpine Linux, convert our models to TF Lite, and implement in C++. We make extensive use of multi-stage builds, compression, and other optimizations. The final model scores 26.8% and is 28 megabytes, 16 times smaller than the next smallest entry. This image visualizes the file system. The re-ranker takes up 21 megabytes and the database 1.6 megabytes, the rest being important binaries and the operating system. To build our 500 megabyte system, we run inference in NumPy and use a database of 2.4 million question pairs and a neural retriever and larger re-ranker. This model scores 33.4% and is 336 megabytes and outperforms closed book models with 100 times more parameters. Lastly, we submit an unconstrained system which scores 39.1%. We're excited about this approach because it can be made extremely fast and can answer over a thousand questions a second at 32% accuracy. It's highly configurable and it's easy to control and update. Lastly, it's interpretable as the retrieved questions can be inspected as can the documents they were generated from. Lastly, thank you to our team, the competitors and the efficient QA organizers. Thanks for listening. Hi, I am Sohee Yang from Naval Club. This is joint work with Min Junsa, and I am going to describe our system of 484 megabytes, whose automatic evaluation score of 32.06 is ranked second in the track systems under 500 megabytes of the efficient QA challenge. This is an overview of our system, which consists of a unified model of retriever and extractive reader, an index of dense vectors, text files, and system files. And this is actually a lightweight variant of a system with DPR, whose size is roughly estimated at 77 gigabytes. In this presentation, we will show how we transform this original system to reduce its footprint by up to 160 times with some drop in accuracy. First, we train a binary classifier with logistic regression to give low scores to the passages that are relatively unlikely to hold the answers to the most frequently asked questions. We score all the 21 million passages in Wikipedia and select only the top scoring 1.2 million passages to be included in our system. This drastically reduces the system footprint with some sacrifice of accuracy. Next, we change the retriever. The original DPR retriever has two separate bird based encoders, which make 768 dimensional question and passes embedding vectors. We change the encoders to mobile BERT and use only the first 128 dimensions for retrieval. 
Then the index size is reduced by 6 times, and the size of the retriever encoders is reduced by about 4 times. What we do next is sharing the parameters of the retriever encoders. The inputs are differentiated using different token type IDs. Interestingly, we have observed that the performance slightly increases with encoder sharing. Next, we further unify the retriever and reader into one model. We make the reader use mobile broadcasting encoder, and it is initialized with the parameters of the retriever encoder trained at the previous step. Then, we train the reader using knowledge distillation from a fully trained DPR reader. While the model is trained for reading, it is also trained for retrieval in a multitask manner, not to forget the retriever ability that it has already learned. This process creates a unified retriever reader model that can perform both retrieval and reading, but there is also some drop in accuracy, so we further fine tune the unified retriever and reader in an iterative manner. Raising the depth set accuracy to 34.44. Next, we apply several post training techniques as follows. This creates our final system of 484 megabytes, scoring 34.33 on the efficient create depth set, and 32.06 on the test set. Thank you. To aggregate the result, these are the accuracy of the systems. The top system achieved 16 point improvement over the provided baseline. You might be curious about the discrepancy in ranking between automatic eval and human eval. For this, we would like to mention that we will write a technical report that aggregates all the systems, analysis, and lessons learned, and the explanation for this could be found in the paper. So please stay tuned. Now let's move on to the trivia showdowns. 